I'm live. I'm live. Hello, how are you? Let me know how you're getting on and where you're coming in from. Looking, been looking forward to speaking to you this evening. I'm going to sneeze in a minute. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, there you all are. Have you been having a good week? I hope you have. I've had a great week. Hey, V, how you doing, babes? How's it all going? So, as always, any questions, stick them in capitals, and we can discuss amongst ourselves. So, I've been working today. Hey, Tracy, how you doing, sweetheart? You might notice I'm wearing Winks, one of these. I've lost mine. I've had the whole house upside down about three times. I think I may have left it at the pig farm on Monday. So I'm going to ask. Hi, Kate. How are you doing? How's Canada today? Oh, you're having beautiful weather. I'm so pleased. Oh, sorry, Missy. Thanks for coming to say hi. Lots of love and enjoy your day. My back is doing fantastic. In fact, I'm going to get Wink to do a video um, as I protected it really well in the sun in India. Um, so I will get an update for you because it's coming up for a year. It's going. It's just um, 11 months since it was first attacked. AKA Missy, I know it's you. <laughs> So has anyone got any questions for me? A lot of you are coming on and coming off at the moment. I hope you can hear me okay. Let me know that you can hear me. Can you hear me? Hey, Robin, how you doing? How did I miss you up there all in blue? That's crazy. It's gone so fast. Hi, Diane, how you doing? I know it's gone really, really fast. I'm kind of getting myself, thanks for the thumbs up, whoever that was from, I'm very grateful. Um, so I'm getting ready for the fruit fest, which I'm going off to on Sunday. Um, so I'll be eating nothing but fruit for and a few leafy greens um, for a whole week. So I'm preparing for that by eating raw between now and when I go. I've, although I've been eating a lot of raw, I'm going to start just having lovely salads and completely get away from the processed food. Wink seems to be doing his own thing. So there's not much benefit in me cooking a meal for us both that we'll both eat. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing. And of course, it's great with all the leaves growing in the garden. Um, although it's really tempting to kind of just wilt some cabbage leaves, but strictly that would be cooked. Um, no, I don't eat honey, honey. Ha <laughs> ha. Loud and clear, glad you can hear me. No, Judy, I'm not going to live in India for a while. I'm very tempted, but I have responsibilities and commitments here in the UK. Um, but I will definitely be going back to India, definitely. And I'm in contact with them on pretty much a daily basis. I really miss them. Um, and it's all mutual, so um, it's really nice to, you know, see how they're all doing. <laughs> Nearly all of them have had a birthday. Uh, one while we were there, one the day after, and one two days after. So it's been lots of birthday messages flying about. Hi, Laurie Babes. How are you doing? Kate's from Canada too. So have any of you got any questions, any food questions at all that you may have? So I think you're all seasoned pros now, by the looks of it. But uh, last weekend, I was kind of on a webinar uh, for the Fruit Fest, uh, which was due to start at one o'clock. Well, this is Saturday. I had to <laughs> leave it to go out for Wink's band. And um, they had lots of the people that are going to be speaking, the author, Doug Graham, the author of the um, 801010. Um, who's kind of called like the father of, um, you know, raw vegan food. Um, 
and he's a doctor as well. Um, he's going to be there. So basically they had about five or six of the people that are going to be there talking. And it was really, really interesting, the conversation. Um, so I'm really looking forward to hanging out with these people and doing some videos for you. Because uh, I think you'll find it really interesting. Hi, Arlene. How are you doing? Hey, Sika. Hello. Tracy, I'm doing well as a vegetarian, hardly any meat, but the dairy is not so good. Just try it. Just try it for, I don't know, just try it for five days. Try going without dairy for five days. Nut milks are great. Vegan cheeses are great. You know, they're not the same, but then, you know, brie isn't the same as Edam. So, you know, they're really good. Give them a try, you know and see how you feel, and then see how you feel about it after seeing how you feel. But well done, Tracy. Well done. We all start somewhere. So that's really good. Um, I think my favorite food, Judy, is it's got to be pretty much anything with chili in it. I really like Indian food and Indonesian food. Um, so I like food with lots of um, spices and flavors and chili and, you know, fragrant dishes, that sort of thing. Um, so <laughs> you're growing webbed feet. Laurie's got webbed feet because there's so many thunderstorms. Well, we, I, I think it rained a lot while I was away. So it's only rained a couple of times since I've been here, um, which is good which is good. I don't mind watering my garden. It's quite, I don't know, it's quite nice listening to the sound of the water and just standing there with the hose kind of away in your own head. I quite like watering. Quite a nice pastime watering, as long as you're not in a hurry because you, you just can't water quickly. <laughs> it comes out as it comes out. Hi, Chris. How you doing, girl? My power chair is down for a while, so to do a tire coming. Oh, right. Okay. I suppose, yes, they do need new tyres, don't they? You're, you've got storms where you are as well. Gosh, if I actually saw a Facebook post about something to do with storm forecast or something. Uh, with Thyrox, and I shouldn't have calcium for four hours after taking it, rules out all forms of any milk or dairy or none. Or non-dairy. Well, loads of food has got calcium in it. But that's probably a good thing because then you have another reason to avoid dairy and it won't do any harm not to have it. Dairy or non-dairy. I suppose this calcium must be in nuts. There's calcium in broccoli, you know. But, you know, you could take it after a meal and then you won't need to eat for four hours anyway. That might be a way of uh, tackling it. Just get your timetable sorted out. Oh, we're having crazy weather storm after tornado warnings. Oh, and hail, goodness me. Hey, Jackie, how you doing, girl? Yes, I'm all back. Need vitamin B12 shots for a while. Right, well, try eating what you can to help yourself with that, sweetheart. V. Uh, garden, trying to do, dig out the carrots. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Wilma, we had them in the garden grazing. The, the grass has uh, got quite long now. So we had them out. And she just, she grazes for a bit and then she gets up to mischief. So. She has all the bins upside down and she's dragging bits of paper around the garden and that's all fine, keeping her busy. And then she smells my pink fur potatoes, which although they don't seem to have flowered, they are actually ready because she had three of them in her mouth and was herring up the garden with them. She basically bust into my vegetable patch. So she now knows she can lift up the chicken wire, she can rip that off, and then she can just stick her nose through my bird netting and start digging. 
oh, she wouldn't get off as well. I was pushing her shoulder and she was just like, oh, no, I've got my nose in here now. She ran off up the garden with two, well, several. I actually thought they were Jerusalem artichokes, but she's managed to pick them from under the soil and leave the plants still planted in, but no potato on it. Cheeky girl. Anyway, so she is not going to be allowed out again because she literally knows that she can get into the vegetable patch now when, whenever she wants. Um, she could just tear the whole thing down. Um, so she's, <laughs> she, I'm going to have to put some stock fencing around it or something, make it more robust before she's coming out again because she's so naughty. Uh, so I know all about animals digging things up, Chris. Hi, Leanne. Oh, well done with your foot. I'm so pleased for you. You got your new job. Oh, I'm so pleased for you, sweetheart. Uh, right. I'm sorry about your property. Um, cabin provided. Ooh. Uh, you're talking to each other. You're very tired. Yeah, I'm quite tired. I've been uh, decorating today. Good girl, V. That's on the list. Excellent. Good. First thing, what, before breakfast? You have to take it before breakfast. Crazy girl. Yeah, she is a crazy girl. Um, no, I think she's traveling about, actually, Tracy. Are you coming to say goodnight? Wink's going to bed. We've got to be up early in the morning. Say hello. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> by, the, by the time they all say, hi, Wink, hi, Wink, hi, Wink, you're already probably asleep. You go to bed so quickly. I know. Don't okay, know, no, 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 darling. Mm, mm. I'll see you in a little bit. See, there, there, look. They're all yeah. probably, hello and good night, hello, night, <laughs> Wink, hi, night, bye, Wink. Yeah, they've, they've got you. <laughs> Right, no night, sweetheart. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, they're all saying good night. Short visit, I'm cooking, so I'll be watching on my smart television while I'm cooking, but I'm not around to leave any comments. Okay, sweetheart. Happy cooking, Leanne. Okay, he's going up the so I can hear him going upstairs, Diane. Right. So, yes, um, my vegetable garden is not pig-proof anymore, so she's way too clever. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so, yeah, um, and a bit of good news. I have my first yoga teaching class booked for Monday the 26th of July, and it's one of my yoga teachers has asked me to cover her one of her lessons for her. Um, so I'm really chuffed. So I'm going to make sure I design a fabulous, fabulous class for her customers, for her clients. They're all saying hi to each other, which is lovely. Um, oh, Wink's okay after his falls. He's being careful now, more careful. Um, so, <clears throat> I can't remember what I was going to say now. I can't remember who, Sue, you're going to do it live. So can... No, I'm not going to be doing it live. <laughs> it will be my first run, so not. Um, but the other thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing yoga with the pigs. <laughs> not my pigs, but down at a pig farm um, where they were bred, actually. So they're some of their relatives. Um, so I'm going to be doing a 45-minute yoga class followed by 45 minutes of piggy pet and play. And yesterday, not yesterday, day before yesterday, there were seven brand new piglets born. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's starting on the 5th and the 7th. It's going to be every Monday and Wednesday morning. Um, and one Sunday a month, and we're going to go for the, I think it's is it the 8th, I think it's the 8th of August. So we're going to see how that goes, see how people like to 
come and play with some lovely little piglets and do some morning yoga as well. So I think it'd be cool. I'm really, I'm really excited about it. I have a good feeling about it. Um, do, 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 do. Chicken pole, chicken pole. What's a chicken pole? I feel I ought to know what that is. Yes, V, I do know of Wim Hof, and it was, I am pretty sure, the Wim Hof breathing, because it was the night I first did the Wim Hof breathing at the Fruit Fest last year that I first felt my sebaceous cyst beginning to rear its ugly head. So, yeah, I do know of Wim Hof. I think he's absolutely great. And in some of the yogic breathing, the bellows breathing, um, is very similar to Wim Hof. Uh, very, very similar. It's just a different, just a different way of highly oxygenating your blood. Yeah, he, I mean, the ladder fell down the wall, and he wasn't injured at all. Just a bit, kind of like, oh my goodness me. But when he was getting the ladder down the next day, it did kind of whack his fingers. But you know. When you're around ladders, things like that do happen, not the falling down the wall bit. If so, what do you think about what he teaches? Um, I've got the Wim Hof breathing app. I think it's a very good thing to fully oxygenate all the cells in your body once a day. I think it's a really good thing to do in the morning. I am out of the habit of doing it, and it's one of the things that I'm sure I'm going to be doing at the festival, so it'll get me back into the habit. I think it makes a lot of sense, and I think the fact that it's borrowed from what that is so similar um, to the one of the yoga breathing uh, pranayamas that was kind of They've been doc that's been documented two thousand years BC. You know, it's it's not new, but it's great that he's bringing this to a new group of people, and he's a crazy Dutch guy. No, pigs are not doing yoga. <laughs> Let's see, do, do do go yoga live. That's one thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah it is the stick with it it's really really good it, it's um fantastic for blocking you know unblocking sort of toxins in the body and I think it kind of released a locked in toxin that had been in my body for a long time and it was time for that to come out and we all know where that's led um, to, to, in fact, this very conversation <laughs> um, almost a year later. Um, and also um, emotional blocks, hurts, injuries, past injuries, stuff like that. Um, you know, it's really, really good. Stick with it. It's really relaxing as well. And it's a bit of self-love. So I highly recommend it, V. Well done for finding it. I think that's amazing. That's my, I think it's amazing face. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the app's really good because it allows you to press a button so you can see how, when you let go, how long it is before you take your next breath between the, the three sessions. Um, it's, it's, and, and it goes up really quickly like on a daily basis. It's really quite interesting. Hey, Alina, how are you? Uh, Teddy's just got on. Hello. Um, do, 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 do. If you hadn't had the sis, would you have done the yoga? Well, I would have done the yoga in February of last year, actually, because I found out about the yoga school at the festival and it was probably three days and it's festering or I'm, I need some attention. Um, 
mode. I think that was the Thursday. Yeah, and I was, no, maybe it wasn't. It was five days before. Anyway, I can't remember exactly which day it is and it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, but I was at our beach house before that um, GP cut it open and half lanced it. Um, I was actually looking at the school. I was in contact going, which school in Rishikesh is it? Blah, 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 blah. So I was looking at it and I was emailing them one of the nights, like probably the day before, the day before it was cut, when it was just like I, I couldn't go to sleep because so I couldn't get comfortable. My hip was so sore from laying on it. Um, and I, I spent all night um, researching flights and where it was and looking at in on the map and working out which airport was the closest and emailing them and stuff so I would have done it but I would have done it at a different time I would have met different people and it wasn't my time to go but yes I would have got there for sure I would have got there through Joe Rogan podcast I don't know who Joe Rogan is but I'm glad you found him and if you found him through Joe Rogan, um, I guess he's got some good stuff to say if he's a fan of Wim Hof because it's very good. It's raining figs. <laughs> Goodness me, Alina. How are your little family of deer? Are they still coming in? Yeah, it was. You weren't here, you weren't here last week, were you? I think you were in pain or something, Jackie. It's been a moment, Tracy. Well, but you wouldn't have had all the lovelies on tour without the cyst. No, I, I don't regret the cyst at all. I think the cyst is a great thing that happened. It brought lots of people together. Lots of you, you all have become friends with each other. Lots of friendships have been made. Um, you know, loads of people have more confidence. There are some people that don't have diabetes anymore. You know, there's loads of people that have improved their health, which is fantastic. And this is you know, this is what I, I mean, a lot of you said you missed this group as a mentor group. Um, but you don't, my concern is that, um, hey, Sharon, babes, how you doing? Is that you don't have any nutrition questions anymore. And I think this is because, you know, what you're doing is that right? Is that why you don't have too many questions for me? Um, I mean, it's quite simple, you know, eat plants, eat whole foods, look after yourself, move about a little bit. No, um, Dr. Gilmore is not going to be joining anymore. He, he will join when there are some questions for him. So we'll do one where we put some questions um, forward for him. And when we've collected some questions, I'll invite him on to answer them. Um, you know, talking to each other. To clear my yard. My babies came later. They was coming around. Oh, how fabulous. That's just so lovely. Having all those, the little family of deer in your garden. That's really cool. So you were saying hi, hi to each other. So, you know, um, I think you all pretty well know what you're doing um, with 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 the healthy eating, with the plant-based eating. So I think maybe do we need a different topic that you want help with? A lot of you said that you missed, you needed it for support or, you know, motivation or just whatever. So what is it you want out of your weekly chats? Let me know. What alternatives to mushrooms? Well, from the vitamin D point of view, um, I don't know. I guess it's vitamin D supplements. Um, you see, mushrooms are used to make, I th think they make lots of, you know, fake meat products because they have a very meaty texture. Um, I mean, do you like garlic mushrooms? 
you can whiz mushrooms up and so they're invisible to picky children and I'm sure if you whiz them up and you know like into a mincemeat texture and just added them to things you wouldn't even know they were there because they you know they just take on the flavor of of what you're cooking yeah that's true but i think um what he was finding when well, people were asking questions that were kind of unrelated to plant-based you know kind of digestive digestion sort of getting yourself healthy with what you put in your mouth and they were other medical questions i think which because um a, f a few times he said oh this is this is this is this is our vegan plant-based show this isn't really come on one of my other um you know shows where we're talking about all things kind of medical um but yeah good point sharon Raccoons, goodness me. Can't believe it. Raccoons. I suppose, well, I suppose yeah, you have raccoons, don't you, I guess? Yeah, it is good to um, support each other. Absolutely. <laughs> you can come up with a Come up with some... Tons of things then for me, Chris. There you go, mushroom powder. Obviously a bit more um, processed, but if it helps you with your vitamin D. But I think, hmm, they are really quite an essential part of our diet, really. But, you know, if you can't eat them, you can't eat them. You're going to need a vitamin D supplement is what I would say. Um, total needed, right, hang on, totally needed, right, okay, hang on a second. We are talking to each other. Yes, it is, you're, you're right, V, it's, it is nice to connect. September, cool. Yeah, I think summer is quite a, a, you know, and I think also in September, schools have gone back, you know, roads get busier. Um, and I think people start then, you know, it's countdown to Halloween and then that's Thanksgiving, then it's Christmas. So there's a whole lot coming up. People, you know, want to get healthy before they get unhealthy at Christmas and maybe more people will be focused on, you know, or, or maybe even just have more temptations, more tempted to go back to old ways because of, you know, a historical Christmas, if you like, because, mind you, people managed last year, but, you know, that would be a time where your strength would be challenged more than just, you know, the middle of June, for example. Hang on a sec, thirsty girl. I haven't drunk enough today. I can feel it. My lips are starting to get dry. I'm very naughty. Not drinking enough. Being busy. I want you to stop these chats. You forget it. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Garlic ginger flavored mushroom jerky. Hmm. Yeah. I switched to all vegan facial and makeup products. Brilliant. Well done, you. I pretty much every product in this house is vegan, um, but I'm certainly um, looking for new products. And when I find um, nice new products, I will put them up for you to review them because lots of them are available all over the world, pretty much on Amazon. <laughs> um, so, and I'm really enjoying my bamboo toothbrush. Although I bought one from home and the bristles kept coming out in the you know in like getting stuck in my teeth and that was like a uh, like having a hair in your mouth when you're brushing your mouth it wasn't very pleasant and the bristles actually hurt my gums they were like scratching oh and it just didn't clean my teeth well 
Anyway, I bought one in India and it was brilliant. So I bought another two. Uh, they were really, really good. So I'm quite enjoying those. That doesn't sound like garlic ginger and mushroom. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> You're funny. You should be story area 51. <laughs> hey, seeker. Whoops. It's just whizzed up. You're back from having me on the television. <laughs> So you can get involved with the group again. Yay, Leanne's back. Tofu, tempeh, beans, lentils, nuts are possible substitutes for mushrooms. Yeah, they would be, I mean, that they would be really good and they're filling and, you know, they're kind of meaty. They give you some, you know, something substantial to kind of bite into and lots to do with your mouth while you're chewing that feels kind of soft and comforty. Uh, but I don't, I, I'm afraid I don't know what the vitamin D levels are. But, you know, nobody needs to be eating stuff they hate. Um, right, your seeker's stuck home until her power chair gets fixed. The tar came off while I was riding it. Three to five months to get fixed. You're joking me. There must be them get get phoning around and get get on Facebook and get that sorted. That's ridiculous. Three to five months. That's you need that to get around, seeker. If anything, I would like to talk about Crohn's disease. My uncle died from that back in the 1980s. There's so much more they're doing for it now. Tell me about Crohn's disease. Yay, Tracy's got, I've got vegan toothpaste as well. It's, it's, um, I don't know, it feels, I think it's got some coconut oil in it somewhere along the line because it's got this kind of mm, mm, feeling like some coconut butter has been melting in your mouth, the, the way it coats your mouth. Yep, you can get vegan makeup. Yep, vegan makeup. Um, cruelty free makeup and vegan makeup, so they haven't got bits of anything chopped up in it. There's no pig fat in the old uh, lipstick and all of that. I'll message you, Alina. Sorry, I'm just reading. So I mean, there's different kind of diet, different severities of the disease. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Oh, the, everything's whizzing about. They so perfectly posh. Are they both vegan then, Sharon? Thrive, that sounds like it must be vegan. Perfectly posh. That sounds like it wouldn't be vegan from the name. Oh, yes, that's right, Seeker. You told me about your dystonia. Is that what it's called? Well, I would, Seeker, I would just sit on the phone. I would keep sending emails. I would keep chasing up. I would keep making there's an appointment. Because do you know what? They'll get it fixed just to get you to stop sending them stuff. <laughs> you crack me up. Night, night, Jackie, take care. Oh, that sounds awful, Leanne. No, it's not cold, but um, 
it was hot earlier today and now it's midnight and I'm just wearing a string top. So I put this on um, because it's the back door's been open and there's night, cold night air in here. That's why I put this in. But it's no, it's not cold. It's been a really hot day today. It's vegan, all from plants. Fantastic. Ah, oh, sweetheart. I'm sorry, Leanne. Oh, gosh. That sounds like a horrible disease. Sorry, I'm just reading Leanne's big comments here. Oh, dearie me. I need each. I read each one to double check to make sure it's vegan, but so far, yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Well, when they're vegan certified, that means they don't buy the ingredients from companies that use animal products. Um, you know, uh, and something, yeah, I mean, it's that they, they should have a, um, a vegan certified, uh, or you should be able to find something on the website. That's what I do. I have a look. You looked cold. <laughs> I have been eaten. No, it's just, I just put it on over my head and the hood stayed up and then I switched the light on and pressed play and here I am. So I'm cooking vegan burgers with fresh spinach and baked fries with fresh garlic and kosher salt. Yeah. Oh, that sounds gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I had my last cook meal this evening. Um, I the the kind of the seitan or whatever it's called, the meat substitute product that I buy um, that Wink really likes. They bought out a bacon one. So I thought I'd get it. Anyway, he decided to have something else. So I ended up cooking um, kind of some leaves from the garden and some spinach, some leeks, this bacon. And then I just grated some vegan cheese on it. And actually, it was really like eating gammon. It was like a gammon stir fry. Um, so I think that will be a, a prize winning one for him because it just tasted like bacon. Uh, that's it. You're exactly right. Seatan. Is it Seatan? Because I hear the Americans pronounce it differently from the British, and then sometimes it's spelled S A T A N when people talk about it, when they're talking about it, you know, the, the meat kind of. It's made with um, glutinous grain and water. And you kind of do various stuff to it, and I think you cook it, and then you can treat it like meat. I saw a recipe up actually on Facebook today, uh, and it looked fantastic. Apparently. Ulcerative colitis is the worst. I don't know what kind he had. He was 21 when he passed away. Oh, bless you. So many um, people have had deaths. I know um, Chrissy's aunt died uh, a few days ago. Um, so she has a funeral tomorrow as well. So I wasn't expecting to see her tonight. Um, I hope the funerals you, you're, you're going to are a wonderful celebration of your friends and relatives' life. Family YouTube, they make it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's called glutinous flour and it's, it's, it's got a high content of the gluten that's in wheat in it because that's what gives it its stretchiness when they're making it. Yeah, definitely to be avoided. <laughs> You're right there because it's, it's like a double helping of gluten. It's like gluten, gluten bread. 
Whoa, fantastic. Yeah, I was doing yoga in 112 in India. Oh, it's wonderful. Yes, and I think the fact that it takes a lot of time, it's a bit like if you made bread from scratch, you know, people just don't take the time to do those things anymore. It kind of put me off making things. I kind of want to have a go because I want to see how nice they are, and you know. But when I saw I had to go and buy this glutinous flour, that's I think it's glutinous flour, I think that's what it is. Um, I was like, oh, well, I'm not sure I want to be doing that. And then I'm like, oh, but I'm eating it from the shops. They obviously make, must make it the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. I thought they were all made from mushrooms. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry for you, Sharon. That must be really annoying. There's quite a high um, pollen. There are more and more pollens this year. Um, Finian was telling me something about it today. Um, if you're asthmatic, no idea. Asthma. Time would be a very good thing to take because it's very good for the lungs. Very, very good for the lungs. Pea protein. Pea protein is very easy to digest. Very easy to digest. My um, protein shake is mainly pea protein. Um, that's a really good form of protein that the body just loves dealing with. I saw you on live and jumped on and said, uh, hello. Those of you who are ill or having funerals, I'm sorry, you will all be in my prayers. Have a good Lots of love. Thank you for jumping on, Bonita. Take care, sweetheart. She ground her own flour for her own bread. Oh, how fantastic is that? That's a labor of love, that's for sure. Hey, Cindy, how you doing, babes? Well, you see, that's it, actually, Robin. You've kind of answered that, really, because um, I don't know a particular thing to eat for asthma, but if you're going to be eating dairy and meat products and processed foods and sugars and alcohols and loads of caffeine and stuff like that, that's going to cause your body so many different issues, like inflammation, you know, that... Anything else that the body has to deal with, it just makes it harder because it's using so much energy, you know, processing stuff that it doesn't actually want. So I think if you eat seasonal, seasonal food, fresh, fresh fruits and veg, raw fruits and veg, I think, I don't think, you would go wrong with that, actually. That is a question I'm going to ask at the Fruit Fest because I'm going to be interviewing lots of exciting people. So actually, what would be a really good thing to do is um, if you could uh, stick that question down in capitals on the um, comments after this video loads, if there are any questions that you would like me to ask the absolute world-leading food gurus, because a lot of this week, uh, yeah, we're going to be having fun and we're going to be doing yoga and meditation and Wim Hof breathing and all sorts of dance and fitness classes. And we're going to be listening to lots of education um, about, you know, plant based diets. Um, you know, we're going to have like world athletes talking, um, all sorts. So if there's anything that you would like me to ask them, I'm going to be interviewing people and putting it up on the channel so that you can find out from people, you know, hear other people's stories of how they started and, and why they started on plant-based and where their health is now based on where it was before and all that sort of stuff. And some interesting things like, you know, how does plant-based affect, affect, you know, asthma? Um, you know, I think just about... You know, when we feed our body good food that it's designed to eat, you know, we're going to be feeling better, basically. Um, 
da, 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 has a YouTube video four months ago. Okay. My little caffeine, no alcohol, mostly vegan. Good. Fantastic. My son was seriously asthmatic that John had to come, come off dairy and have honey daily to help allergens. Yeah, it's thought if you have honey that's grown locally, they will have collected the pollen from the local plants and by eating the honey or build up a little bit of a immunity to the allergic reaction to those particular pollens. That's that's what's behind the, the honey. Um, coming off dairy, well, yes, actually, uh, that makes total sense because dairy produces mucus. Um, you don't want mucus in your lungs. You don't want mucus in your nose. You don't want any additional mucus in your body that doesn't need to be there. Um, and in fact, dairy puts a mucus all the way through your digestive system, which covers your digestive tract, um, like with cling film. So it's very hard for your gut to absorb as many nutrients as it would have done had there not been this kind of mucus coating preventing absorption of nutrients. So it really does go against you having dairy. Um, oh, I have no dairy, only almond milk. Yes, good girl. Just remember, thank you for sharing. You're really welcome. I still have some more to put up. It's just I've been working all this week, so I've been out all day. Um, so I haven't had a chance to put some together. Um, but yeah, I do have some more for you for sure. Yeah, I guess you would need to know the triggers and I guess as asthma's a kind of a, often goes along with allergies, doesn't it? Um, I would imagine certain foods could trigger it, I guess, but I'm sure eating a typical Western diet's not going to help it at all. <clears throat> excellent i will certainly have a chat because we've got two ultra marathon runners denmark's top female ultra marathon runner is a fruitarian um and she makes violins as well she's a violin maker um, and I will definitely be having a chat with her. Um, but also, um, like Doug Graham, author of the 801010 book, um, he is like a like a physical coach. Um, and he's you know coached you know top tennis players and you know he's working with a um a baseball player or American football player, I can't remember at the moment, but he's worked with loads of top athletes as well. So, um, question questions about workouts and fruit and veg and good things to eat, you know. Um, one thing I did actually learn from the webinar was if you're looking for something that's easy to digest that's easy on the stomach, like after you've been poorly or something like that. If the food, and this is raw food, if the food will rub into your skin, it will digest easily. So avocado, you can rub into your skin. Um, banana, uh, peach, grapes, you could squeeze them and you could rub them onto your skin and rub them in. An apple, you can't rub that into your skin. That that's hard to digest. So, um, like soft fruits and stuff like that, they're they're easier to digest. So that was something I thought was actually quite interesting. I thought it was very interesting. There's a lot of talk about dental. Uh oh. Oh no! I thought my screen had frozen and it hasn't. Hit X X where. Mold is a huge trigger for asthma. It's bad with moldy and the dead leaves. Yeah, mold is a terrible thing. 
Also, Sue would like for you to have a vegan cooking segment on your site. Yeah, what I need to try and do, typical items to avoid, eggs, dairy, shellfish, nuts, soy, etc. Lots of good research and low quality sources. Oh, no, pulmonologist. Thanks for that. You are our resident Googler, or else you know it all off the top of your head. Anyway, you're a superstar. Thanks, Robin. Um, yeah. Um, what I must do is spend some time and actually put my videos under category. So if you're interested in looking at cooking videos or getting some ideas for cooking, you can. they'll be on, under the cooking tab. They'll be in... And I've seen it done, and I have to look up how it. How do you do this? And then I have to spend ages going, right, hang on, and then I have to have it open on 15 devices while I kind of follow the instructions on one and watch a video on another. Uh, but I have been meaning to do that um, because we've got, you know, we've got different things on here and different people come onto my site to look for different things, I guess. In the last month, it's kind of the subscribers are going up and up and up, which is fantastic. Um, da, 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 right, we're coming up for one hour now. So I'm going to be signing off because I am working early in the morning. So I need to go to bed. Otherwise, I won't do a good job. Uh So as we all talk, things come up that we didn't know about. Yeah, that's true. In conversation, that does actually happen. Uh, we come across things that we didn't know. We end up talking about all sorts of things. The three large apple trees and two late harvest pear trees, also huge rhubarb. Asking neighbours if they want to. Whoa! Self-pick. Bring your own ladder. <laughs> Oh, make sure you've got your insurance, people climbing ladders. I'm just joking, but you know what I mean. Winking ladders, inflammation. Yeah. See, all those things cause inflammation. It's just like, you know, just eat plants and whole foods and just watch yourself heal yourself. Oh, never mind. You, you'll be able to look at your newspaper online. I bet if you go to your local newspaper online, you'll be able to. That there'll be a there'll be a kind of a leisure section probably on their online newspaper. You probably find them from there, sweetheart. I had nature de Ravalo on my. Oh, I got so sick. Allo does me big time. <gasps> Gee, I don't know how to fit. Oh goodness me. So you're allergic to that. Oh, Seeker's back. <laughs> Hi, Leonor, sweetheart. I'm just signing off, darling. Okay, I will see you. Hmm. I don't know what the internet signal is going to be like, and I don't know what the schedule for the Fruit Fest is. So I may not be on for this particular show, but there will be lots of lives. There'll be lots of little videos that I will put up. There'll be lots of interviews because I'm just going to be surrounded by the most amazing people. And I would love you to meet them um, and get some tips from some absolutely crazy, wonderful people. Yeah. Hey, Teddy is nice. Watch. It was lovely. So many of you are on. And for those of you who come onto the replay, Leave us a little message and then we'll all know that you've all chatted away. Okay, lots of love to you all. And um, I will see you definitely. I go on Sunday. So the videos will start coming probably probably from Sunday. Um, so there'll be lots of food-based stuff there for you. All right, lots of love. Mwah.